A very good morning to Dr. Zhao Yang. I'm Lo Zixue. Today, my group members and I are going to present about the corporate social responsibilities of Starbucks company. First of all, what is meant by corporate social responsibility? According to the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, corporate social responsibility is a management concept whereby companies integrate social and environmental concerns when they are operating a business and interacting with their stakeholders. Generally, CSR is a guideline for companies to achieve an economic, environmental and a social imperative balance while meeting the expectations of their stakeholders. Moving on to the next slide, there are four main responsibilities which are placed in the Keras Pyramid. The goal of the pyramid was to illustrate the building block character of the four-part framework based on the fundamental requirements to success in a business. We have the economic responsibilities at the lowest level, followed by legal responsibilities, ethical responsibilities, and lastly, philanthropic responsibilities, which is placed at the top of the pyramid. We shall look into each level of responsibilities closely to determine whether Starbucks has achieved all four levels of it. Economic responsibility is the responsibility of an organization to gain profit and remain competitive in the long run by producing goods or services that are demanded by the society. It is the baseline requirement for business to sustain and exist in the society. Starbucks Corporation is economically responsible to its stakeholders. This statement is supported by Starbucks earn profits by providing coffees and services that satisfy the demands of coffee lovers in society. Besides putting effort in innovation and improvement, to ensure the premium quality of coffee, it also accomplishes its goal as being the third place of lifestyle besides home and third place. This helps Starbucks to gain customer loyalty and constantly make a profit. Starbucks has successfully remained profitable and competitive in the industry. According to Statista 2019, Starbucks has made 26.51 billion US dollars of net revenue in the year 2019, and it has been increasing since 2003. To survive in the long run, Starbucks has made a lot of investments. Based on since 2019, Starbucks is continuously expanding its business worldwide, and it has opened 36,256 outlets in total in 2019. Besides investment in technology and infrastructure, Starbucks take care of the benefits of employees, such as providing training opportunities, healthcare benefits, and stock rewards plan. Therefore, Starbucks has achieved economic responsibility by gaining profit in the long run for its stakeholders. Different types of legal responsibilities for different, stake different types of stakeholders. And the first type of stakeholder is employees. One legal responsibility for employees is equal employment opportunities, and Starbucks focuses on diversity. Diversity is encouraged, maintained, and ensured in every single Starbucks outlet or office, and it is an inclusive environment that nurtures diversity. The second legal responsibility is standard working conditions. And Starbucks ensures that its workers are able to perform without any fear of hostility, judgment, or any sort of verbal abuse or physical abuse to any form. And the third one is economic security. And to society, Starbucks ensures fairness and honesty. They always publish where their ingredients are from on their app, on their website, and how it's been harvested and how much their foreign workers are being paid and to the customers and environment they have a right to be informed and the right to be choose and as i mentioned starbucks is very transparent about the ingredients that they use and the right to be informed means that you are informed about all the ingredients and what is being put in your food or products or what the services uh, being all the products used to provide those services are made from. 
The ethical responsibility of Starbucks is to manage waste, recycle, and balance consumption. One of the ethical responsibility of Starbucks is sustainability initiative. Starbucks has more than 34,000 stores which are operating in 34 countries and serving the best coffee to its customers. Their mission is to provide their customers the best coffee experience by supporting the environment and their farmers. Besides that, they are focused on promoting their brand as the ethical brand throughout the world. Many organizations are focusing on developing their sales plan as per Starbucks. Hence, the employees are asked to promote the organizational interest in the favor of the company. For achieving the purpose, Starbucks has developed various plans to accommodate the environmental balance in their daily practice. Water conversation and recycling. The store are utilizing a lot of water in daily routine job, which is a matter of concern for company. Starbucks is utilizing a technique which makes less water wastage, and all their stores will follow the instructions which are helping in managing the renewable resources. Besides that, non renewable resources are causing harm to the environment. Hence, Starbucks work with the local community for recycling the resource, which putting it into use. Starbucks is committed to ensuring that their coffee, tea, cocoa, and manufacturer goods are responsibility and ethically produced and purchased. According to Starbucks stated that success is linked to the success of the farmer and supplier who grow up and produce their products. So they only purchase those products from farm and manufacturers that adhere to a certain standard of ethical treatment. For philanthropic responsibility, Starbucks implemented employee engagement programs. Employees who devoted their working time to a charity under the Starbucks Service Fellow programs are paid for the charity work. In environmental starships, Starbucks recycled all materials that need to be recycled in store and control waste collections, including reusable cups. They offer 10% discounts to customers who bring in their own merchandise. With Starbucks Foundations, they offer farmers trainings and financial support to enhance coffee quality and develop their life. Starbucks subsidized 5 million US dollars to the educational programs in China. The fund also supported 420,000 people in developing countries to access with clean water. They also engage with young people to provide trainings and develop skills and knowledge. Starbucks is active to reduce poverty by participating in the fair trade coffee market. Starbucks has doubled the purchase of fair trade's label coffee price. This is to increase the farmer earnings and the quality of coffee. In conclusion, since Starbucks has achieved all four levels of Keras Pyramid, it is able to benefit both the society and its own company without leaving any expects out. So in the future, they should continue to maintain all four levels of CSR in the Keras Pyramid to maintain its successful position within the same industry. That concludes our first part of presentation. Now we will move into the second part of the presentation, which is the self-reflection. What I have thought about principle and practice of management initially was that we will be only covering a basic knowledge about how to manage a company or the ways to manage a company. However, during the process of learning, I have learned that there are actually more than one management approaches which are practiced by companies these days. And what I have also amazed by this subject is that under these management approaches, there are also a few subfields which function differently. With the knowledge gained from this subject, I'll be able to understand the concept of management in detail which will help me in my future studies or future jobs. For instance, I can use the knowledge gained from scientific perspective and the classical approach to do something efficiently which can reduce my consumption of time. From this course, I have learned that planning is important in completing tasks in our daily life. Planning is needed to define our goals and the action that leads to the goal. Before the lecture, I did not realize that planning is important in accomplishing a task. For an instance, while doing this assignment, my teammates and I did not plan at the first place. We did not schedule a timeline to accomplish each little goal such as searching resources, completing assignment, cross-checking, editing, and checking similarity. This has caused us to complete and submit our 
assignment at the very last minute. After the lecture, I initiate to plan a timeline for each of us to follow strictly. I learned that planning in operational is extremely important, as it has to be precise, measurable, and realizable. It is also important to develop contingency plan so that we can execute plan B when plan A does not work. Task planning in real life tasks can help to avoid procrastinating and using resources wisely. For my self-reflection, uh, before this course, I wasn't really aware on how companies had so many different variations of corporate social responsibilities for everyone involved in the business and even the environment. Uh, I wasn't aware on how the company has su such high standards on how customers should be treated, employees should be treated, and what type of information goes out to the general public. And after this course, I learned that there are so many different social responsibilities for employees and customers and whatnot and for as in for employees i don't really see much companies practicing what they preach so i wasn't that well informed about this corporate social responsibilities but now i am as we know that Starbucks is one of the most iconic brands in the world and their brand recognition has reached every high due to their marketing strategy and their commitments to keep their brand consistent. Before lecture, we know that Starbucks is a premium coffee brand as they sell their products at a very high price compared to, to its competitor. As we rarely seen Starbucks advertising their products through commercials and media, and after lecture, I know that one of the most significant marketing strategy of Starbucks is that they focus on customer experience and satisfaction, as they always place their customer feelings and expectations on the first place, and this has made them to be successful among its competitors. Starbucks also built strong relationships and brand loyalty by having customized service, such as writing their customer names on the coffee cups and the comfort environment that they create in every store to make their customers customer feels that they are at home, which will hold them to take a rest in the store. In my point of view, I think that Starbucks has implemented a differentiated and successful marketing strategy to sustain their business in the industry. Water 5 Forces is a simple but powerful tool for understanding the competitiveness of your business environment and for identifying your strategy potential profitability. It is useful because when you understand the forces in your environment or industry that can affect your profitability, you will be able to adjust your strategy accordingly. For example, you could take fair advantage of a strong position or improving the weak one and avoid taking wrong steps in future. After learning the lecture and adapting what we had learned into the assignment, we had explored each of the bottom five forces. We looked at how they can help you to analyze the strength and weakness of your position and how they can impact your long-term profitability. For instance, Starbucks strategy goal must focus on maximizing the strength and related competency of the coffee house business. Hence, the company can implement strategies to make its brand even stronger and improve the diversity of its supply chain as a way of increasing resources, access, and production stability. That's the end of our presentation. Thank you.